Hey y'all, hey y'all. It's so here stepping stepping through with uh some pearls for y'all with some pearls because uh I got this message today and I was like, you know what? I want to share this message. So I've been looking forward to it. I'm excited to share this with you guys. So first things first, right? Um certain blessings can only be accessed with a certain version of who you are. Certain blessings can only be accessed with a certain version of who you are. You are the key. And I was thinking about this and I was like, hmm, hmm, that's interesting, right? That, that's, hmm. <laughs> and it brought me to this story about, you know, that one dude in the Bible who fell into the ocean and he got lost and he was like, he was like, God, please send me a boat. I need me a boat to bring me back to shore because I'm struggling and I'm suffering. So please, God, send me a boat. And then some dude comes by on, on an alligator. You know, he riding on the back. He's like, hey, man, you want to come hop on and we we going to go back to the shore? He's like, nah, man, I ain't getting on no alligator. Mm -mm. And then, you know, the dude next, you know, he leaves. He's like, okay, man, you know, he leaves. Then the next guy comes by and he got, uh, you know, he got some, uh, he riding on a big old leaf, you know, just like a giant leaf. And he's like, hey, hey, man, you want to ride? And he's like, nah, 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 I ain't getting on no leaf. And in this water, you want to get on a leaf? Nah, man. And the guy said, okay. And he leaves, right? And then the guy sitting there in the boat, he's like, man, God, why are you not send me a boat? You're going to leave me out here to die? What kind of God would do this to me? And then, uh, you know, it made me think about how sometimes in life we get to points where we just been asking for the same thing. We're just like, man, I just want it so bad. I want to experience that so bad. I want to achieve that so bad. I want to be there so bad. But we don't realize how close we actually are to it. We don't realize the opportunities that presented themselves that could have brought us to that. Sometimes we discredit or we have this vision of what exactly it is. But that's not how life works, right? That's not how, you know, these universal energies work. Sometimes the blessings that we've been asking for, it's not going to show up with that purple ribbon on the top. Maybe it's going to show up with no ribbon on the top at all. Maybe it's going to show up with you know, something else on the top, right? We have these images of what exactly we want. And that's just not really how life works, right? That's like a consumer mentality. And sometimes we have to make a decision in order to access that new level of who we are and who we're called to be. Sometimes we have to make a no or we have to decide a yes in order to change who we are on the inside. And, in, and once we change who we are on the inside, how we perceive the outside will also change. And we will access that blessing. You feel me? You feel me? Sometimes we can be blocking our own blessings by holding on to things that have already served their purpose. We hold on to things that may have served an old, outdated version of who we are. And it's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. And, you know, it's so scary. And, and sometimes, you know, these big leaps of faith feel like such a big leap. But sometimes it's a lot smaller than we think, right? It's like a person who can be in a whole pool of water. And we're like, uh-uh, I ain't jumping in that. And all we did, you know, we put our foot in and realized that the surface is below our feet. And we only had about 12 inches of water on our ankles. Don't do that to yourself because you deserve more than that. And that's my message. Don't get in your own way. Don't get in your own way. You've been asking for it. You know you deserve it. Now you got to figure out what the decisions are what the yeses are and what the noes are 
in order to change the experience that you are having. So that's my pearl for y'all. Hope y'all staying safe out here. Everybody take care. Happy holidays. Stay blessed with this new year coming through 2024. I'm ready for you. And I hope that everybody, y'all take care. Stay blessed out here. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Goodbye.